Okay, welcome to ATN News. We're going to look at the earthquakes and then we're going to check out the anomalies, see what they look like for today, what time we're here. All right, these earthquakes are going to cross Hawaii again today. And a couple of these are new quakes. Same line, but different quakes. This one's a 2.4, 5.3 miles deep. That happened just a couple hours ago. So, that you know, that's got some wild activity over that way on that island going across it like that. And there's so many plates out in the Pacific Ocean, you know, small plates that go together. All right, now up here at Hebgen Lakes, Yellowstone Lake. This is Yellowstone Super Volcano, 3.1, 5.9 miles deep, and then we had a 2.7 and a 2.8. But first, the 3.1. That was after two small quakes to show that it was coming. And then we had the 3.1. Here's the swarm. Well, it's, it's not really a swarm. It's a bunch of aftershocks after the 3.1. Montana, Hebgen East, northeast of Hebgen Lakes. In case if I didn't explain that. Alright, now here's the earthquakes here. And Alaska, we only have three 2.5s and greater. That don't look good. And down here, new, out from around New Jersey. Still got aftershocks. Now when you get places that has a lot of aftershocks, you can check on it you know, to get more on it if you want to, but aftershocks, one, once you have one and it keeps having aftershocks, there's a foreshock that follows behind that. So there's usually a larger quake than the first one that follows behind all this once it stops. Sometimes it takes a little while, sometimes it don't, but a foreshock. Look up foreshock and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now we got these two over on the Mid Atlantic Ridge, 5.0 northern northern Mid Atlantic Ridge, 4.1 miles deep, 5.2, and that one is 6.3 miles deep. So we got these two. Could see larger activity, like a you know upper five maybe over that way in the next day or so. Could, but that's a big possibility and a 5.5 round Boca I guess it's I wouldn't know how to pronounce that we'll just say Panama and over here on this side let me back that back out this one's 5.3 Around the Philippines, Taiwan still having the aftershocks. And a 5.2 around southeast of the Loyalty Islands, 6.2 miles deep. Alright, that's all I see right here. Let's go check out the fire map and the anomaly. Okay, we can't leave out Canada. They had a 4.2. And that looks like it's right on the borderline of British Columbia. Three hours ago. All right, now let's go check out the fire map. And what we'll do here is you can see this anomaly across through this way. There's four of those. Now, watch this anomaly. Now this is the 22nd, that was for yesterday. Now keep your eye on it. You see how it, it came over? This one went off the coast. This one came over. It was over this way. Back it up one time. And take it forward. You see what I'm talking about? That's anomalies. It's going to bring droughts, storms that people hasn't seen before in their areas heavy rains at certain times it can bring on a mess that's heat coming across North America under the plate and another thing is 
I could tell you the east is heating up, which which it is. It's heating up. It's getting hotter than it does, you know. It's getting to look like the west, put it that way. This is getting to look like the west, the east is. All these here, these fires, once you zoom in, there's a lot of fires here. This one is prescribed burn, 1,235 acres. And this one's prescribed burn. Now this one here is a regular fire. SCK High, High Point Fire, 52 acres. Now, you can see these, all these orange ones are prescribed burns. So that means if they are burning it to keep something from catching on fire in that area, around homes or something like that, this one's 1,113. It's pretty good sized fires. But they are prescribed burns. Even up here, Sinking Creek prescribed burn. 1,946 acres. So don't let it scare you because you're seeing all these fires going on. Most of these are prescribed burns. And we do have some big fires like down here in Mexico. 32,835 acres. You know, Denver, 1,445 acres, range 127 fire, and Canada, Burgess Creek fire, 3,954 acres, out of control. All right, now these here's some big fires. This one's 95% contained in Denver, and Arizona, 2,000 acres, 90% contained on that range fire. So don't let it scare you about all these other ones that's going on. And we even got them going on down in Florida. But they're scattered out. That's not what we see moving across the plate though. Fires don't move across the plate. And prescribed burns don't move across the plate. That's heat under the surface. And I don't see anything. It's a lot of rain up through here. Scattered out. That's all I see right now. going on in their oceans and people wonder about uh, Iceland some say that you know something else is causing the earthquakes and everything but we know what's causing the earthquakes on the earthquakes you got the mid-atlantic ridge it's going right through the middle of Iceland if the mid-atlantic ridge is spreading apart and it common sense that Iceland's going to spread apart too. And when we got that activity here a while back of another eruption in a different place, we talked about it was the crack causing it. And next day or two days later, they said a crack caused it. We could see it. I mean, it's the Mid Atlantic Ridge. You know, if the crack is what caused it, it spread. It's going this way and going this way. Iceland is going to go this way. Ain't going to go that way. It's going to split in half. That's just the way it is. It's common sense. Alright, I'll see you all in the next updates. Everybody stay safe and we'll be watching.